See what I see down there between that palm tree and that palm tree? That's called a yucca gigantea. Uh, <clears throat> very neglected, formerly known as yucca elephant tippies. And uh, they're a pretty uh, more marginal type yucca here in the North Pacific, so you gotta put them in a sheltered spot. They kind of resemble a uh, soft tip Spanish dagger, or even sometimes they tend to weep a little bit and they look like a softer uh, recurbifolia. I'm just gonna show you something here. Um, the ones that we planted in June 2007. <clears throat> so these ones are coming up 14 years in the ground and when it does get really cold, in a bad cold snap, I do put like a big plastic bag <clears throat> over top of these guys. But they've managed to hang on for these many years, all these years. This is, yeah, I mean, so they're, they're a soft tip. You're not going to poke your eye out on these guys. And uh, they're definitely more marginal. Down on the Oregon coast, you see these all over the place in Brookings. But So that's called Yucca Gigantia. And um, you can see the sucker's coming off the bottom, and it's got a pretty good-sized trunk on this one. Here, there's my foot. So you can get an idea how big it is. And then these ones are actually really hardy. These are Gloriosa in here, Superba. But uh, yeah, this is one to try if you live in a really uh, mild growing zone. We're near the water. Here's another one coming up off the bottom of it. And you can see them coming off the side. And at one time I did a video that says, should I cut it or shouldn't I? So I decided not to. Comments said just leave it alone because it is pretty funky. So that is one of our many Yucca Giganti. We have actually have more <clears throat> down here too. I'll show well, actually there's some big ones up here. We have a lot of them in the garden. Here's some bigger ones here. Yucca Gigantia. They're beautiful yuccas. They look more way more tropical, right? Way more tropical looking than a lot of the other yuccas. And yeah, they are more tender. I think they're native to southern Mexico and maybe other places of Central America, but I think southern Mexico. And then um, we have some down here too. Let's check this out. It is a beautiful spring day. It's been so dry here. So some rain when we get it, it's gonna be just awesome. So here's another one here. I mean, you can put them in pots and move them in for the winter time if you want. There's one there and another one here. This one's got a really gnarly uh, trunk on it. So there's another yucca. Gigantia. So uh, there you go, folks. Try one of those in your own garden. And uh, I think most nurseries probably carry them. Pretty cool looking yucca, don't you think? Put them in full sun, part shade, and they'll do their thing. Right on, folks. Thanks for watching. Cheers.